say who I am, yeah, what I'm doing. Yeah, say who you are, what you're doing, and how you feel about um, preserving natural, especially old growth stuff in, within like water reserves. Beautiful. Okay, I'm Dr. Reese Halter. I'm a tree scientist. I muck around in uh, forests around the world. I'm professor of botany. I'm also the president of Global Forest Science, a research conservation institute that uh, protects fragile ecosystems and short circuits ecological disasters uh, around the world. I oversee 160 scientists working in nine countries. And here we are along the west coast of North America in the largest last remaining temperate rainforest bathed in water. These beautiful trees represent massive carbon dioxide warehouses and they are also home to at least a couple hundred million salmon, some beautiful wolves and eagles, black bears, giant grizzly bears and water the lifeblood of planet Earth. The watersheds here from Alaska all the way uh, mid-coast California, Sierras, and into the Southern Rockies feed some 55 million people their fresh drinking water, support mighty intensive agriculture systems and mighty industries. Water is the lifeblood of our planet and it must be protected at all costs. The earth is undergoing unprecedented warming, human-induced warming, burning fossil fuels. We know what the problem is now, it's just a matter of solving it. And we can solve, people can solve things, we've been doing it since time immemorial. As a matter of fact, 75 years ago they told our parents and grandparents that we couldn't sort out or solve polio or smallpox. We did that when the former USSR beat the United States into outer space. America put the first person on the moon and now we're going to put somebody on Mars in the ensuing years. If that's the case we can certainly think our way out of raising unsenselessly Earth's rising temperatures. Again, these fresh water bodies in our forests, in our mountain forests, are of paramount importance. They must be protected. There should be a moratorium on all development around fresh water. The trees are an unbelievable catchment, not just for the snow and the meltwaters, but for stability on slopes and, uh, and they're home to hundreds of thousands of critters. Species diversity is of utmost importance as a conservation biologist. We are charged with maintaining Earth's genetic tapestry for our children and our children's children. And these wonderful temperate rainforests have untold medicines and foods that will protect us in the 21st century. And um, particularly right now, um, through Supreme Court, there is uh, an order to uh, stop logging on steep slopes. But there's a riparian area, like the all, there's old growth, a whole plateau of old growth up at the top. And um, they haven't proven it yet that this is a health hazard. Would you be able to speak to like the top of a mountain? Tops of mountains are very delicate. The ecosystems are fragile. It takes trees a lot longer to grow big and tall. It's colder. The soils are thinner. They're fragile. Our high elevation forests uh, are extremely sensitive to development. They're very difficult to rehabilitate and they should be protected. They should be protected at all costs. And it's, it's now not a matter of they should be. We know better. Forest biologists working in high elevation ecosystems, including myself, understand that that is actually life at the edge. High elevation ecosystems are catchments for massive amounts of snow. If they're developed, we know that the snowpacks melt sooner more water is released into the system and at the end of the day, careful management 
which is conservation. The careful management of our natural resources is the most important thing that we can do for the coastal communities, inland communities, and all of Western North America because fresh water is in short supply and as the world becomes drier, that fresh water is going to become all the more important. And what about, like they say, okay, well we're chopping down, you know, thousand year old forests and ecosystems, but we'll replant the same trees that were there. Do you have any comments on that? Plantation forestry is a fine art and plantation forestry takes place in the southeast of the United States, in southeastern Australia, in New Zealand, in uh, Chile, America. Simply removing thousand year old forests and putting in artificial regeneration and walking away or rather waiting some 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, 150 years before you can go back in to harvest those trees, that's not forestry. That is not forestry. Forestry is planting, tending, pruning, and harvesting. And it probably can take place within 30, 35 years, certainly less. But if you're talking of going into ecosystems that take well over a hundred years, and in many cases a couple hundred years to rehabilitate, we have no business being there because that is beyond a human lifespan. And really, we're squandering our children's precious natural resources.